Hello, good evening, my dear students. How are you? I'm okay. Hello, it's a pleasure to be with you once again in another day, another class. I am very happy to see you. How was your day? I'm tired because um, I'm a start. No, I, I, I started. Wake up, huh? I wake up. I wake up at um, four thirty a.m. Oh, you woke up at four thirty a.m. Oh my god! Yes, that's very early. <laughs> and to go to work in my company eh, I start oh, entrar I enter I enter at 7 a.m. Oh and you live very far from it I imagine yes oh my god so how long do you take to go from your house to your company 43 kilometer Oh my God, 43 kilometers, that's far. Yeah. That's really far. Oh my <laughs> and God. And the traffic is more. I know. I know with the traffic and everything, it's even more difficult. Well, but yes, 43 kilometers to go to your work. Yeah, that's a lot, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> that's a long way to go. Well, and the rest of you, how are you? Uh -huh. Miss Lisette, how are you? Um, hi, teacher. Um, my day was very fresh and stressful. I walk, I have walked two kilometers. Oh, really? You walk two kilometers today? What for? Uh, it, my wall, no, my street is closed. Oh my God. They are fixing it. They are repairing it. It's in construction. Oh my God. It's being repaired, you say. It is being repaired. For... 40, 40 days. Oh my God. So you are going to be walking 40 days. Well, yes. that, that will be the cardio of the end of the year. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. So it's, it's yeah, no, I'm very sorry. Well, but, but I'm very rest. I know, I know. It's, it's, I mean, to be walking every day, like around two kilometers. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, anyway, look look at it as exercise. Imagine that you are doing exercise. So we are, you are not going to see it like, yeah, I have to walk a lot every single day. <laughs> it's yeah. like, yes, I am exercising. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> well, thank you, Lisette, for sharing. Okay. Well, welcome to all of you. Yesterday, we were talking about what? What do you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember from yesterday's class? The use of wood. Uh -huh. The use of wood. In what wood. cases? In what cases did we use wood? It was for? Mm, invitation. Exactly. We were creating invitations, right? We were creating invitations with wood. Okay, do you remember one example of one invitation with wood? Would you like to? Uh -huh. Would you go like party, to? Go party this Saturday. Uh, would you like to go to a party this Saturday, right? It is very, uh, okay, that's a very good example. I am going to, I am going to take notes of your examples, okay? So Francisco, can you repeat exactly the sentence that you gave me? 
Would you like to go to eat? Pupusas is Saturday. Okay, very good. You corrected and very good. <laughs> you corrected your example, and that's nice. Okay, Hi, would sir. you like to go to the pupusas? Yes. Or Saturday or this Saturday? This Saturday, it's okay because if you say on Saturday, you leave it open for any Saturday. It can be oh, this okay. Saturday or any other Saturday. It's if you say, uh -huh, it's a specific. If you say this Saturday is this week only. Because if you okay. tell me on Saturday, it's any Saturday. And, and then when you answer, you say this coming Saturday or the next one. No, you say this one. Ah, yes, I have. I have the chance. I can do it. I can go. Good. Okay. Excellent. Another example. Can you give me another example of an invitation? Anybody, you can just mention it and I'm going to copy it. Would you like to come uh, to my house? Would you like to come to my house? Good, very good. Another example. Would, would you like to travel with me? Ah, for sure. <laughs> would you like to travel with me? With would you like to go to play tennis? Would you like to go to play tennis? Very good, fantastic, I would love to. <laughs> would you like to go to play tennis? Very good, and one more example. Would you like to watch the new, the new Spider-Man movie? Hey, yes, see if, if it's real about the new Spider-Man. Would you like to watch? the new Spider-Man movie okay, with me, right, for sure. Okay, so in this case, we have very good examples and I don't have to make any correction to them. Why? Because it is very common that in some cases when we are creating invitations, you say, for example, would you like to, and then you forget to, would you like go to the movies, you say? And this is a problem because if you say, would you like go to the movies? And after like and after want, you always have to include two. And after two, you always have to include the infinitive form of the verb. Because here in this case, if you say, would you like uh, going to the movies? Yeah, it's okay. But the correct form of the invocation is would you like to go to the movies, okay? Because you are specifying a place. And in this case, all the examples were correct, right? Would you like to go to eat pupusas this Saturday? Or if you want to be very specific, you say this coming Saturday, like right? this coming Saturday, would you like to come to my house? When? And you say tomorrow morning? tomorrow morning, right? You have to be very specific. So the person that is receiving the invitation doesn't have a chance to say no. In this case, if you be, if you are very specific about the type of the invitation and the day of the invitation, you have less possibilities to receive a no answer, right? Would you like to travel with me? What do you think it's the question that the person is going to make? ¿Qué preguntaría la persona que recibe esta invitación? Would you like to travel with me? ¿Qué lugar? Ajá. So the person will say, where? Where? Ah, but if you where? say, would you like to travel to Las Vegas with me? They will be yeah. like, let's go. <laughs> For sure. Would oh, you like to travel? To come on. <laughs> when? <laughs> what time? and packing everything, right? What time and with the backpack <laughs> ready? <laughs> Would you like to travel to Las Vegas with me? And so like, yes, for sure. But you know, here is a Barrio Las Vegas, Colonia Las Vegas. <laughs> and it's like, ah, bienvenido al Barrio Las Vegas. <laughs> it's like, come on, <laughs> I'm a demon. <laughs> 
So we're like, come on, <laughs> where am I? In Santa Ana, there is a neighborhood called California. Would you like to go to California with me? Oh, for sure, thank you, I'm very glad. And there, Barrio California. <laughs> I'll be like, come on, <laughs> give me my money back. <laughs> So would you like to travel to Las Vegas with me? Would you like to go to play tennis? What questions are missing here? Those are like, when, when, when right? When. Would you like to go to play tennis? Tomorrow. tomorrow, right? Tomorrow afternoon. Would you like to go to play tennis tomorrow afternoon with me and some friends, right? For you to be very specific. But if you only ask me, would you like to uh, to go to play tennis it can be a very good a starting point for an invitation okay so that it's a very good thing about how to invite people right to do things and let me see uh, any other question that you have about invitations or is it clear this is not a very complicated topic and that's why I really like it it is very nice and easy to understand. Do you have further questions about it? Yes, no? No. Okay, good. So if you don't have further questions, we're going to go to the practice. Here, I assigned a little homework yesterday that you had to complete, right? That it was this one, right? You had to complete this, uh, little chart in order to create invitations. Did you do it? Yeah. Ah, very good, very good. It's like, oh my God. Right now, right? Remembering. Okay, so let's go and check. In the homework, it says, uh, we have the two options for a positive answer. Yes, I would. Yes, I would love to, thanks. Yes, I would really like to go. Or I would like to, but I have to work. I would like to, but I need to save money. I would like to, but I want to visit my parents. I would like to, but I don't want. That's a very honest answer. I love to, but I can't. But I can't, right? I don't know why it's so difficult for people to be honest. Have you ever been on that situation? Que primero le dan como una gran excusa y después fíjate que una tía se ha enfermado y le cayó ahí un problema en la pierna y la rodilla and then they tell everything about the, the situation and you're like sí, fíjate que no, tengo que llevar a mi mamá a que la vea <laughs> why do I it's just as easy as to say like I can't simple right we have to be very honest that's why I really love English English is very to the point I'm sorry I, I would love I would love to do it but I can't so it says I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday would you like to go what will be your answer Yes, uh -huh. I would I like to, go. but I have to work late. I would like to, but I have to work late. Hmm. Who wants to go to the baseball game on Saturday with me? Yes, thank you. I'd really like to see it. Oh, thank you. I would really like to see it. Yay! I have one person accepting the invitation. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Uh -huh. yeah. Thanks. Yes, I would love to. Thanks. Hey. We are going to have pupusas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would love to, you say. Who is going to give me an excuse? No vivo tan lejos. O sea, no, no, no se van a perder. Don't worry. Where? And here, almost in the center of San Salvador. Tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night. We, we can receive the presential class here with the pupusas. 
Hey, that would be fantastic. In the garage with a lot of chairs. A lot of chairs in the garage with the pupusas. Or with some carnita there. That would be fantastic. So, would you like to come? Only Francisco is going to come to eat tomorrow night. Would yes. you like to? Uh -huh. Only yes, Francisco. <laughs> Only Francisco is going to come to my invitation. And the rest you. of you? Uh, I would like to, but I have a, an appointment. Uh, you have an appointment. Okay, good. And the rest? Catherine, would mm. you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Yes, I would like to go, but I live so far ah but i live so far she's going to be virtually amanda i would like to go but i have english class ah no but the class is going to be here in my house <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay that's that's so good so she can't come right because she's going to receive the class here that's very good so that's a way to respond to an invitation, right? To say that if you want to do it, if you, if you don't want, you give a, a short excuse. And the last one, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? We yes. I really like to go. <laughs> Yes, really I, do. Go I love to dance. Yeah, yes. Hey, what, what artist? And sing. Mm. <laughs> Don't like me. <laughs> I'm, I'm too young. Mm, I, I am too young, you say. No, but you know who and sing is. Yes. We're, we're going to go and watch BTS. No, nah. I don't like them. <laughs> no, I don't like it either. Let me see any other pop singer that it's famous now. Mm. We don't have a lot. Ricky Martin. Mm. He's like, mm, 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 mm. Hey, Ricky Martin. He's very handsome in real life. I had the opportunity to go to a concert here, and he's very handsome. Sorry for my husband, but he's very handsome. I was like, yes, Ricky Martin. It's very handsome, but it was like nine years ago. So, yes. Now he looks like one of these uncles that we have. El tío Rick. <laughs> he doesn't look that young anymore. Now, for the next one, we are going to, you are going to create the invitations and I am going to answer with the answers that I have here. So, according to what you wrote on the homework, I am going to answer to your invitation. What were the invitations that you created on your homework? Mm -hmm. What were the invitations that you created on your homework? Would you like to go to a basketball match? Would you like to go to a basketball match? Um, yes, I would love to, thank you. What's the other invitation? Dicen que hicieron la tarea. Vamos a ver qué escribieron. Or the first, first sentence. Uh -huh. Would you like to go to eat pupusas to the planks with me? Oh, for sure. I would love to. Thank you. I love the pupusas from los planes. Yes. Uh -huh. María Amanda, what is the example that you created on your homework? <laughs> I didn't do the homework because oh, uh -huh. I have to go um, after the class end. Oh, okay. Okay, for you are Sorry. okay. I will forgive uh, this time because of would, that. Let's see. Would you like? Would you like to go to walk to mountain this weekend? Uh, okay, mountain climbing this weekend. Well, I would love to. Thank you. Let's go. Where? Where are we going to go? 
tu Cerro Verde, tu, I don't know, tu San Jacinto, tu Comasagua. Se llama Chichihuite. Oh my God. <laughs> es yeah. en es South of San Salvador. Okay, so it's due for me. I am going to be dying in the lake. <laughs> but I, I would love to I would love to, thank you now, number five what did you write on number five? me hey teacher would uh -huh. you like to go to the beach some blast this uh -huh. Sunday in the night? I, yes, I would love to thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would like to but I have to work I work on Saturdays and Sunday but at mm. night I am free Hey, <laughs> so I can go. Yes. It's like, don't wait for me, people at home. I am going to the beach on Sunday. <laughs> He's like, ya no vino la nativa. <laughs> Yo, we at the beach. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Jonathan, for your example. And what about number six? What about number six? What is the example that you created? Only one, only one. Would you like us to have lunch tomorrow? Oh, lunch. For sure. I would love to have lunch with you tomorrow. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to eat lunch? Uh -huh. Pollo campestre. In Pollo campestre. Hey, it's very good. The chicken soup is very delicious. <laughs> yes. I don't go out that often, but I really like it. That's very good. So, but the answer for number six, it says, I would really like to see it. So you have to invite the person to go and see something, to go and watch something. So I think the on the examples, I think Angela gave me a good example that we can use in this sentence about the Spider-Man movie. How was the example, Angela? Would you like to watch the new Spider-Man movie with me? Yes, thank you. I would really like to see it, right? In this case, it matches perfect the invitation with the answer. Well, thank you very much, my dear students. And I had the chance to actually see that some of you did your homework. That's pretty awesome. Sure. Yes? Would you like to go see the Campero light? Uh, yeah, I would love to see them, but I think we are not having this year. I think we are not going to have Campero lights this year. Well, that's that's what I was reading on on Facebook today in the morning, that they are not going to do the show. <laughs> I really love that show, but you know, I am personally against the fireworks. Yo estoy bien en contra de los, de los fuegos artificiales. Me encantan, pero soy bien en contra de ellos. Why? Because, smoke. Of, because of the smoke, because of the contamination, and because mm. all the money that you spend on that, you can spend it on something more important. Yes, it's yeah. true. Because it's thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, because it's not cheap. It is like around like $3,000, $4,000, the ones that you spend for one hour of lights. Imagine what you can do with $4,000. Yeah, so, but I love them. I really love to see them when I am not paying for them, <laughs> it's very beautiful. <laughs> but for Christmas, no, I don't like them. Yeah, but thank God my neighbors do. So I um, I have three lights. But, like, yeah. uh -huh. but there's no money. No, no, <laughs> but there's no, we don't have money here in our country. But uh, I think they are not going to have them. But if they have the Campero lights, I will attend the invitation to go and see them. That would be fantastic. Thank you very much. So I have here a set of uh, sentences 
as examples. And what I need you to do, what I need you to do is that I need you to create three invitations. And you are going to invite three different people in the class to do different things. So I need you to choose three and to write them on your notebook. And please write the name of the person that you are going to invite. Here you have everybody there in the participantes. You can see all the names of your friends. And what you need to do here is to choose three people in three situations because you are going to invite these three people to do three different things. Okay, so I need you to create the sentences right now. Remember to put the name of the person first. So you are going to say, uh, here you are going to say, imagine that you are going to invite, uh, let me choose a name, um, Monica, Monica Escobar. And I will say like, Monica, would you like to uh, play volleyball tomorrow with me? And Monica can answer. What is your answer, Monica? Would you like to go and play volleyball tomorrow with me? And be Uh-huh. <laughs> now Monica is answering. What is your answer, Monica? Uh-huh. Moniquita. On that. Moniquita. Hello. Hmm. Ah, se me fue el internet. <laughs> Let's see. Let's invite Heidi. Heidi, would you like to go uh, to a festival this weekend with me? Perdón, teacher. Eh, la respuesta en base a, lo, a cada uno de los que están en el cuadrito. The, the answer, it can be about you. You can accept or uh, discard. You can say, oh, I would love to, but I have to shower the cat. I can't. I'll be like, mm. ah, okay, thank you very much. Or you can say, yes, I would love to, thanks. You can accept or decline the invitation. It all depends on you. My invitation is, Heidi, would you like to go to the festival on the weekend with me? Yeah. Yes, I would love to. I would love to. Very good. So, and then I am going to choose another person and I am going to say, for example, Jonathan, Gabriel, would you like to play video games with me after the class? Yes, teacher. I, I, I love video games. That's very awesome. Very good. So we're going to play. And let's see. Emilia. Emilia. I am going to invite Emilia. Emilia, would you like to come to my pizza party on Friday? Yes, I would like. Yes, I would like. So that's the same thing that you are going to do. You are going to choose three people and three invitations. Create them right now. And when you have them ready, you can raise your hand and participate. Remember that you can accept the invitation or decline it on the way uh, we have learned. And you can give other excuses, right? Who has the invitation ready? The three invitations ready. If not, I can give you some extra minutes for you to finish. Let me know when you have them ready and raise your hand to participate. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Who's the first one? Would you like to go to the movie? Who? Who are you inviting? Well, would you like to go to the beach? Good, but you have to tell me who are you inviting. A quien están invitando? Ahí tienen que decir primero el nombre de la persona a la que están invitando y después la invitación. Me. Ajá, Emilia, go ahead. Jonathan, could you like to go to the beach this Sunday? Yes, I I would like. Very good. Um, Heidi, would you like to go to the movie? Yes, I like to go to movie. Continue, continue. Uh -huh. Continue, continue, Francisco. Heidi. Well, do you like to come to my pizza party? Yes, I will. Yes, I will like. When? <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> good, good question. Uh -huh. When? Tomorrow, let's say. Francisco, continue the invitations. Invite someone else. Okay. Um... Ta, 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 ta. Catherine Reyes. Catherine, uh huh. Would you like to take a walk in the park with me? Yes, I will really like. Ah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Catherine, continue. Uh, Lisette Castillo, would you like to go to the lake with me? Yes, I would love to. Hey, nice. Continue, Lisette. Uh, Angelica Lasso, would you like to come to my pizza party? Oh, another pizza party. Yes, I like to go. Yay. Continue, Angelica. Uh, Rebecca, would you like to come to my farewell party? To my farewell party. Fiesta de despedida, huh? Yes, I I will. I would love to. I would love to. Thanks. Good, very good. Continue, Rebecca. Maria Amanda. Maria Amanda, huh? Yes. Would you like to go hiking in La Matepec Volcano this weekend? Oh, yes, of course. I would like to. I would like to, right? So she's going to La Matepec Volcano with you. Continue, Maria Amanda. Emilia, would you like to come uh, to the picnic this Saturday? This Saturday? Yes, I would like. Okay, hey. Heidi, would you like to go to the festival tomorrow? Yes, I like to festival tomorrow. Good. Me? Rebecca, would you like uh, would you like to go shopping this uh, Sunday? Rebecca, would you like to go shopping this coming Sunday? I like to, but I have to work. Hmm. And, um, and Maria Amanda was going to pay. Ah. <laughs> she was going to pay everything. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yes. Rebecca, the next invitation. Lisette Castillo. Would you like to come to my party this weekend? I would like to, but I have 
visit my family. Ah, but she has to visit her family. Good, Lisette, ask the next question. Mm. Kelia. Kelia. Would, uh -huh. would you like to come to my party tomorrow in the night? Yes, I would like. <laughs> okay, and Kelia, the last one for Monica Escobar. Monica, would you like to play video games with me? Yes, thanks. You. I would like to. Okay, Monica, the final question for Marlon Barrientos. Marlon, would you like to cook with me? Yes, I would like to. Ah, so he's going to go and cook with you. Very good. So excellent, excellent examples, very good job. Some of the things that are here, maybe are new for you, or maybe you don't know the meaning. Do you have any question about the vocabulary presented? Questions? Make a sand castle. Aha, make a sand castle. This is sand. the idea, this is the idea of people digging on the beach. Right? When you go to Mahawal, you see people mm. digging on the beach, right? And you imagine that they are going to create this beautiful sand castle, right? Un castillo de arena. But no, people make a hole and they get into the hole. It's like, okay, right? Okay, okay. Yo, yo siempre imagino ver castillos ahí en arena. Pero veo gente en hoyos. <laughs> to make a sand castle. A sand castle is <laughs> castillo de arena. Yeah, or, or if not, the classical uh, disposable uh, glass. Tenemos un vaso desechable ahí haciendo That's the sand castle that we have. Any other question? Hang out. Uh-huh. Hang out. Hang out. Hang out is when you go and just enjoy. In some cases, you can hang out in Metro Centro, just walking, window shopping, doing nothing, eating something, right? Hang out is like, uh, salir, fregar, pasear. Vitrineando. Okay. Vitrineando. That is window shopping. That is the word in English. Window shopping because you only go to the window to see. <laughs> and you don't buy anything. So hang okay. out is Thank like... You. Pasarla bien conmigo, salir. That's okay. Another new word for you? Go hiking. Hiking. Uh, hiking, hiking is hiking. Go hiking. Uh, let me see. Where is it? Ah, go hiking is when you go to the mountains. Ir de caminata, pero ya en un terreno un poco más retador. That's hiking. Good. Because the other one is go walking, right? To the park. Skiing. Skiing. Go skiing. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah. this one is a little bit impossible for us because we don't have a snow, right? Skiing is patinar, esquiar. Maybe, well, we can in do it in, mm. yeah, in, in snow. We can do it okay. in Cerro Verde, I think, or in Isalco with some cartones. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> yeah, that's another type of skiing. And let me see. No, farewell is despedida, right? My farewell party. Mi despedida. And I think the next ones are, are very uh, normal words that we already know. Excellent. So we are going to go here for some reading time. And for the reading time, we have this timeline that I know that you know because it was in the platform, right? It's about Christina Aguilera. And I am going to ask, I am going to ask Eric Ramirez, Tatiana Martinez, and Rebecca to help me to read, right? I will divide these in three parts. Part number one, part number two, and part number three, okay? So Eric is going to read the first part, and then we have the next two, reading part number two and number three. Okay, so Eric, you can start. Go ahead. Okay. Um, 
1980. Christina is born on December 18 in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, 1988, Christina first appears on television in a Star Search a uh, television talent show. In 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney, New Mickey Mouse, Clue with Britney Spears, uh, Justin Timberlake. In 1994, Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Nakanishi, Good. a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Good. The next. Who's going to be the next one? Uh -huh. The ladies, the ladies. Tatiana, uh -huh. 1998. Uh -huh. Sing a song for the Disney movie Mulan. 1999. 1999. Uh -huh. Christina has here, here, big kids. Jenny in a bowl. Uh -huh. Two thousand one. Along with other singers, the singer record Lady Marmalade. Marmalade. Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. Good. And the last one. In 2002, Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah. In, uh -huh. Utah. in 2004, Christina wins the Best Famous Pop Vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Very good job. Excellent job, Rebecca. Thank you very much. So remember when you are reading the timelines, you divide the dates into two parts, right? 1980, 1988, 1992, right? Only in the 2000 on, you say 2001, or it is optional to say 2001, but it's not really common. Right, you can say 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 22, 22, 23, 24, et cetera, right? But the most common thing up to 2000 is to divide them, 1992, 1994. And pronunciation things. We say New York, right? New York, Disney's, because this is a possessive, right? Disney's new Mickey Mouse club, club, the pronunciation is Club. And Nakanishi, that's good. It's the name of the person. Her, her, you don't say first, you say her first. Her first big hit. Genie in a bottle, right? Bottle. That's the pronunciation of this one, bottle. And the next one, we say, well, Lady Marmalade, that it's the name of the sun. And Mulan Rouge, that was the movie. And the name of the city, Yutha, right? Yutha. And I think those are the only pronunciation issues that we had. So here we have the different events and in the platform, what you were supposed to organize were the different events, right? Here, what was the first event that we had in her life? She was born, right? Este fue el primer evento que vimos en su vida. She was born. Then she appeared on TV and then she was in Disney. Then she recorded the song. She sang for Mulan. Then she recorded Ginny in a Bottle. Then she sang the song for the movie. She performed at the Olympics and she sang the song Beautiful. So on the platform, you had the different events and you had to organize them according to the uh, appearance, right? When did they appear? And here, what was the first event? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. What was the first event? B. She's letter B. New York. 
Very good. She is born in New York. Because in the first day of classes, right? Se recuerdan que me dijeron la respuesta B, C, E. No, she is born in New York to read the complete event. Very good, Maria. Very good. What is the next event? She is on television for the first time. Okay. For the first time. First. She is on television for the first time. Good. What is the next event? She works with Britney Spears. She works with Britney Spears. Oh, I gave you the, the, the quick look for the next one. She works with Britney Spears. Yes. What is the next one? She travels around Japan. She travels, she travels around Japan. Good, very good. The next one. She records a song for a Disney movie. She records a song for a Disney movie. Good. What is the next one? She has her, her first very successful song. She has her first very successful song. Very good. What is the next one? She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. Good. And the last one? She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. She wins a Grammy for, for beautiful. beautiful. Excellent job, my dear students. Excellent job. Now, we're going to go up to the last section of our classes. And this is related to this. Do you know how to call the family members in English? How do you call the family members in English? What are the names that you use? Mom. Mom. Uh, mother. 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 Father. Mother. Father. Brother. Sister. 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 Brother. Sister. Grandmother. 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 Uncle. 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 Parents. Granddaughters. Good. Mother in law. Father in law. Mother in law. Very Most. good. The siblings. A stepfather. A stepfather. A stepmother. Okay. Good. Stepsister. The stepsisters. Good. The uncle. The uncle. What about sobrino and sobrina? Nephew. Yes. Nephew. Nephew. Niece. 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 And nephew. Uh -huh. What about, let me see. Well, you have the in-law families, a step, right? Step brother, a step sister. That is very good. And do you have a family member that you don't know how to say it in English? Hay algunos que no sepan cómo decirlo. Primos. Cuñado, ¿cómo sería? Okay, primos. How do you say primos in English? Cousins. 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 How do you say cuñado in English? Brother in law. Brother in law. Brother in law. Good. Brother in law. And there you have brother in law, sister in law. Good. And if you if you have a suegro or suegra, that it's mother in law, mother in law, mother in law, and father in law. And if you say a son in law, son in law, it's yerno, and daughter in law, it's nuera. No, no era la que yo quería para mi hijo, pero bueno. It was like okay, yeah, I, I don't like I don't like that. I don't like it. Esta es mi nuera, they say. Uh -huh. Pichel. Yes. No era ella. The, the children's mom. Ah, the children's mom. La mamá lo ni. Hermanastro o hermanastra, ¿cómo se llama? Step, step brother or step father. Okay. Step. Oh. The word step is astroastra. Right? Step ¿Y en mother. En casa de padrastro. Step father. Okay. Okay. Good. So I have here some men in the family, right? We have the men in the family. The great grandfather, the grandpa. Great grandfather would be like bisabuelo, okay? Grandpa, it's a kind form to say grandfather, right? Grandpa or grandfather. Pa, 
pa, it's a very common form to say father. Father or daddy, right? Dad, no, that, también escuchado. Dad, right. Dad is the most formal form. Husband, right? It's the spouse. Uncle and father-in-law. These are the men in the family. The men in the, in the family. Here we have also uh, some other men in the family. Brother, nephew, boy, baby boy, twin boys that are cousin, primo, brother-in-law. It's like cuñado. Boyfriend, novio, men, only men, and uh, man, men, right? Man, only one, men, it's plural, right? These are the boys of the family, the boys. And here we have the women in the family. In the women in the family, we have, okay, here we go, the great grandmother, mother, mom, mommy, cousin. Cousin is for the two of them. Cousin. Niece, okay. niece, sobrina, daughter, hija, aunt, tia, girl twins, girl, sister, girlfriend, wife, teen, que es adolescente, woman, women, right? These are the girls of the family. These are the girls of the family. And in general, we have a lot of different vocabulary, like the one that you were mentioning. Here we have, let me just, okay. Here we have all the different vocabulary that you were mentioning. Can you read it please? And tell me if you find one that you don't know the meaning. Good son. The God son. The God son is a ahijado. Godfather, el padrino, right? padrino. Like, like in the movie, the godfather, godmother, madrina, godson, that it's a uh, ahijado, Barnet. And, and goddaughter, ahijada. Which one? Partner. Partner. Partner is a uh, pareja, when you are not married. You say like, ah, she's, she's my partner. Fiance or and she, fiance. Or she's my Okay. <laughs> she's my conque, right? She's my my compliment. Right? So she's my partner. My right? girlfriend. My girlfriend. Got son? Got son, it's I have. Fiance. Fiance and fiancé, it's like prometido, prometida. She hey. he, he is my fiance. Mm. My fiancé, it's the, the girl. My fiance, it's the man, right? Mi prometido. Tiene como acento francés. Yeah, it is, it is from French. It is from French. Yeah, Por eso a... es como la visa eh, fiancé y la fiancé. Okay, fiancé and fiancé, right? The double okay. E. Fiancé. Uh, it's the, the fiancé, it's the, the boy. And fiancé is the girl. Girl. La prometida. Ella es mi prometida. Good. Me prometió que me iba a dar la visa. <laughs> Por 10 mil dólares. <laughs> no, me prometió amor eterno. Come on, usted. <laughs> so here you have the grandson, granddaughter, grandchildren. It's like uh, nietos in general, right? Nietos. Parent, it's like uh, uno de los dos papás. Parent. And if you say parents... Mis papás, the two of them, right? Any other question? So if you talk about your family, your close family, okay? Because you know Salvadorian families, who? Yeah. They are very I have big. a question. Yes? What is the meaning nephew? Nephew, nephew. Sobrino. Sobrino. Nephew and niece is sobrina. It's not nice, okay? It's the niece. It's your granddaughter. Granddaughter. Nieta. 
Mm. Nieta. Granddaughter. Uh -huh. Grandchildren, nietos. Eh, nietos, in general. Grandparent is abuelos. Abuelos, in general, the two of them, yes. Teacher. Yes. Uh, yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Y Tell me. partner? ¿Cómo se utiliza? Solo okay. como pareja. Ajá. Uh -huh. When you say, for example, imagine that you go to a house where you see the two people and you know that they are not married. And you say like, no, she's my partner, right? Es mi, mi compañera, right? And in some cases... Amigo you, con derecho, algo así. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And in some cases, and, and I mean, I, I really like to be very open on these things. Uh, when you have this very special type of relationships nowadays, when um, they are similar and they say, <laughs> uh, now he's my partner. And so like, ah, okay, no more questions. Or she's my partner. And you say, ah, okay, <laughs> no more questions. And I, I mean, yeah everybody's free to do whatever they want, right? So, Entonces, teacher, se usa en un sentido romántico. Uh -huh. Yes, for sure. Siempre. Mm. Yeah, but, but depending on the situation, you can say, hey, we are partners. Si estamos en una compañía, we are partners, right? But here, as we are talking about relationships, family relationships, in this case, if you say like, no, we live together, he's my partner, you understand, right? Si vivimos no. juntos, es mi pareja, ¿verdad? It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Or okay. Here, for <laughs> here, for example, in the class, we are all partners. Aquí en la clase todos somos compañeros, right? Ah. Por, But we are not no partners. ¿Por qué no usarían el, uh, my girlfriend or my, my boyfriend? I mean, because they are not married or they are not in a very open relationships or they are not in a very formal thing but that's oh, why aquí en el salvador se usa lo de compañero de vida ajá uh -huh. it's possible mm. as well ah. por eso les enseño okay. todos los horizontes mm. <laughs> o, porque, o porque los dos son él y los dos son ella it can be the partner as well And then you say, like, oh, she's my girlfriend, and it's a she, and the other one is a she, and you are like, okay. <laughs> you never know, right? So, but that's that's one option, right? Yo les presento todos los tipos de relaciones existentes. Ajá. Okay. Para que no digan, teacher Nati nunca me dijo, me hubiera contado. <laughs> Como diría mi madre, mejor que se enteren conmigo. <laughs> The partner, the partner. No, but here in El Salvador, as I know, you have your wife, your husband, or your girlfriend, or your boyfriend. I know, no problem with that. In your family, the close family that you have, what members are uh, the ones included in your family? For example, if you ask me, my family is made of my husband, my kid, and me. Three members, my close family. What is your close family? My family is my mother, my father, my children. My children, sing as it, my children, and me. Children. Two. Two children and me. Yes, and me. Good, very good. So that's your close family. Very good job. Uh-huh, who else? Who can give me another example of the close family that you have? ¿Quién es su familia cercana? What members do you have? My close family is my mother, my brother, and my father. My brother, <laughs> my mother, my father, and me. Good, very good. Another example. My close family uh, are my wife, three daughters, and me. My wife, my three daughters, and me. Good, very good. 
Mr. Jonathan, what is your close family? My family is my wife, my son, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and my cousin and nephew. Good. So you have a lot of members <laughs> in, in your close family. Very good job. Catherine? Uh, my group of family is my mother, my daughter, and me. That's very good. So for tomorrow, we are going to continue working on this, but we are going to work a little bit on uh, creating sentences. I am going to leave you this one as an example. This is my example of my family, right? She's Carmen. She's my mother. My mother's name is Carmen or Carmen is Nati's mother or Nati is Carmen's daughter right? You can screenshot the example for you to create similar sentences with the members of your family, okay? This is going to be for tomorrow. You need to use the names of the members of your family. Just follow the example. You can replace Carmen because Carmen is the name of my mother. You can say she is a Marisol, she is my mother, or my mother's name is Marisol, or Marisol is Juanita's mother. And Juanita is Marisol's daughter. Tenemos cuatro opciones de, de oraciones de las cuales pueden escoger para crear sus ejemplos con sus miembros de la familia. Okay? But this is going to be for tomorrow. Thank you very Entonces, much. ejemplos, teacher? I think five or six. Ok, no hubiera preguntado. Five or six. <laughs> five or six examples, okay? Rise, Rise, no dijo nada. <laughs> 100. <laughs> I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye, bye teacher. Bye.